we've got the robo drill behind us. Could you give us some a bit of information about it, please? Yeah, okay. This this particular machine is a medium bed machine, so it has a 500 mil x-axis stroke, 400 in the Y, and we have um, 400 millimeter z-axis stroke on this machine, okay. with it being an advanced model. Okay, so that's quite a big z-axis and quite a big table axis as well. So I've heard yep. you've had quite a few success stories with these robo drills. So what category of engineering are they going into? Pretty much anywhere, really. Okay. Uh, depends, I suppose, on the type of work the customer's doing at the end of the day. Could be a subcontract machine shop. It could be uh, a customer who's manufacturing their own components. Could be bicycle parts, motorcycle parts. Uh, it could be a prototyping type environment as well or even high volume automotive, medical. We've done lots of things with lots of customers. So that's great. So you've got a machine here and obviously you said there's a range. So this is the middle size that can really go into any category of engineering company. So there is one big question that I want to ask about is the tool changer. So okay. obviously normally tool changers that I've seen are in the back, but Fanuc, uh, one of the only ones that I've seen with a tool changer at the front. How does that benefit? And having a BBT30 compared to a BT40, what are the advantages of that? Okay, the tool changer itself is pretty unique yeah. in terms of how it works and I would say it's one of the machine's big strengths in terms of its mechanical reliability. Um, so for a long time this particular tool changer has been um, actuated by the spindle motor so the tool changer rotation was by the spindle motor. That's still the case on the standard model, but on the advanced model now, we have a dedicated servo motor okay. for the turret rotation. Okay. But mechanically, it's very simple when yeah. we compare it to um, tool changes with tool change arms yeah. and gearboxes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely, because we're searching for the tool as well, and obviously yeah. this machine will take such a short amount of time to get to that tool, and then the cycle time, which means it's cutting down. There's another question I want to ask. The machine is quite small, it's got quite yeah. a small base, um, and it's quite light, so yeah. how do we get all that power from the spindle into the material and get these big cuts that we needed? Well one of the things about the robo drill is that uh, from an installation point of view it needs to be like nice and level. It's yeah. a level sensitive machine and as long as it's level um, and the weight is distributed evenly the spindle and the table the mechanics you know of the machine all work in harmony.